Hi friends, I hope you can hear me. It's super noisy outside. The different birds and cars driving by. I'm not quite sure why it's so noisy at the moment. Probably because it's a cool day. But anyway, I want to show you this project I'm working on for a family reunion. My grandfather has a ranch and I went down to that ranch a few years back and I dug up pottery. And because there was a, a Native American uh, pottery dump on the, the property. Um, and they had it excavated uh, before they could build. And I guess somebody had already raided most everything, but this, this was just in the pottery dump. So um, you can't sell it, I don't think, but I'm not trying to. I'm actually putting it on a family reunion project I'm doing. So we're going to cut this birch with a laser cut cutter and make this the frame where so that it has this, this burnt edge. But we were trying to figure out what color would look best with the leather. Um, this is my grandfather's brand. So um, I'm just showing you the, uh, you know, like the bar S <laughs> part of the brand um, for privacy reasons. But so that cuts out and goes here. And then this is some of the pottery that was found on his ranch. And then this is a picture of my grandfather. And so it's going to be matted by this black and then this wood. And so we were just testing. I just want to show you how I went about testing out which stain would look best with the brand. And then we're going to write up some personal information right here. And then this gray is going to actually be cut out of this wood. So there'll be a little bit of black around everything and then this wood will be the mat. And then I'll just write up a description of my grandfather. But I want to show you how I cleaned the pottery. If you have something like this on your ranch you want to use. I uh, washed it after sifting it through a sifter and then I sprayed it with a... I tested it. I had a mat, a, a semi-gloss, and a high gloss. And um, after testing it and looking, the um, satin actually wasn't semi gloss. I, the satin actually gave it a better look. So these were all gray. And I have pictures on my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, you can look at. But they were all kind of gray. Everything was gray, and you really couldn't see any definition. But by spraying the mat in it after I washed it, it gave it depth. All of these just looked gray before that. Kind of gave them each a different color, and it magnified the depth. So if you're ever going to do something with, and even the pottery, even the chipping shards where they would chip to make their tools, um, came out and sh you shone better. And, and um, where's the purpley one? They even look better with the spray on them. They were just kind of a gray color. But since I sprayed them, it kind of just gave them a little bit more depth. So I wanted to share that with you if you're ever going to do a project with something, rocks or shells or anything and hang them on the wall, you may want to wash them and then try and spray them with a, a satin. That was the, what made it look best out of all the ones I tried. And I was able to get this on clearance for $3. So that was even better. And um, if you're going to use wood and you've got a project you want to kind of match the colors to, go ahead and use the different kinds of stains. And you have to use the stains on the wood that you're going to use. So if you go to the store and you buy the stains, you can't always tell which stain would be the best because it's on a different color of wood than you're going to actually have. And these birch come in even a lighter color, and I didn't want to leave it so light because it would not, it would not look as good with, with the things that I have it um, with. So anyway, I just wanted to share that idea with you. Check out my blog, The Secret is Gratitude. In a couple of weeks, I'll have up the final finished product. I'm making a hundred of these for my cousins and uh, my kids and their cousins. So we've got a bunch we're doing for everybody. But hopefully um, I'll be able to show you the finished product in a few weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a very blessed day.